Okay, so um, today I'm going to try to describe, um, explain a little bit about what uh, plasma, KDE plasma activities are and how they differ from uh, virtual desktops. Um, I started down this road of discovery because I was trying to find a way to have different background images in different virtual desktops. In previous versions of plasma, plasma uh, I'm running Plasma version 5 now. In version 5 of Plasma, they eliminated the feature where you can select a different background image for a different virtual desktop. Um, and, and now all the documentation and all of the Google search res results come back and say, well, you should be using activities for that. But they don't, I haven't really been able to find a, a good description of, of, first of all, what activities are and how do they differ from virtual desktops. And then how do you do this? How do you have different different background images? So I'm going to try to go over that. Um, first, let's start off with what virtual desktops are. So when you install Linux right out of the box, you get one virtual desktop and one activity by default. That activity is called default. We'll get to that. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So let's set up some virtual desktops. First, we'll talk about virtual desktops. So go, I'll go to the system settings. Um, there, it's used so often that at the bottom here, there's this virtual desktop. See, you, you start off with one virtual desktop with a very imaginative name of desktop one. So I like to work with four virtual desktops and I like to use them in two rows. Um, I did this previously and that's why it automatically came up with two rows. Um, so let's edit the name. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to call them desktop one, two, three, and four. Okay. So. I'll quickly go through and I'll just change the names of these things. Um, and we'll be on our way. Okay. Uh, isn't that 14? 4. Okay, so let's apply that. All right. So now we have the, the pager. This, this is called the pager. It's a widget. It shows us graphically which which virtual desktop we're in. We're in desktop one. If you roll your cursor over it, you see desktop one. If you roll it over to two, desktop two, three, four. Um, I've also assigned some uh, keyboard shortcut keys. I did that in system settings under shortcuts, Kwin. Um, I've defined some navigational shortcuts for getting to the virtual desktops. And so let me just show you where. Um, to switch directly to a given virtual desktop, I use Alt plus the number of the desktop. So for instance, we're in desktop one now. If I want to go to desktop four, which is down here, I do Alt four. That's what I just hit, Alt four. I'm going to hit Alt one again. Alt one puts us back into the into the first desktop there. So that's how I've defined these. And then these uh, um, shortcut keys, are very similar to the way that you navigate virtual desktops in, in the Windows environment. You use, uh, well, the Windows key. The Windows key on your keyboard is the meta key. So meta control left, right. So meta control right puts me into the desktop to the right. Meta control uh, down puts me in the desktop one below and so on. All right, so I'm gonna go back up to desktop one, Alt one. There is also um, a setting in virtual desktops um, right here. This navigation wraps around. I have it turned off. I'll show you what happens if you turn it on. We'll turn it on. We're now in desktop one, as you can see up here. Um, if I navigate down using control meta down, we go down one desktop as expected. Now, if I do the same sequence, key sequence again, it's it's flipping me so that it, it it's wrapping around. So I'm in the I'm in desktop one. I do down. I'm in desktop three. I do down again, and now I'm back up. So it's very confusing to me. So I don't like to have that wrap around. Same thing happens if I go left and right. I went to the right. I'm going to hit the meta control right key again, and I end up essentially going to the left. So it's confusing. So I turn that off, and I apply that. Okay, now. Control meta down, puts me down one desktop. This is the place to be looking to see where we're at. This blue highlight is where we are right now. We're in desktop three. I'm going to do control meta down again. 
nothing happens. That's how I like it. That's I'm just um, that's just a personal preference. So I'm going to go back up to one. Okay, now the whole point of having virtual desktops is so that you can put different applications in different desktops and so that your desktop doesn't get very cluttered. Um, so for instance, if I start a terminal or console, I'm going to leave it in the upper left corner. I'm going to say desktop one. Um, so that's desktop one. And I could do the same thing in other desktops, right? So I'll start a console here. I'll put this in the upper right corner because this is the upper right in this in this little uh, pager. So let's do that again. Uh, desktop, this is desktop two. Uh, let's go to three using my shortcuts. Another console, put that down here. And so you, you get the idea of what we're doing here. So I'm, I'm just, I, it's just a, a, a graphical way for us to see which desktop are we in right now. Because if I don't put different applications in here, you wouldn't, there's no visual way to, to, um, to tell where, where we're at. Okay, so at any rate, all right, now, if you do control F8, you get an overview of your whole workspace, um, which shows all of your virtual desktops. You can navigate also using this view. You'll notice that it gets highlighted a little brighter. If I click in there, we then go there, and now we're in desktop two. Um, you could do the same thing. Control F8 gives you the overview. Okay, so in general, <coughs> virtual. this is what virtual desktops allow you to do. They allow you to organize your your workspace into these little sort of compartments. I, I think of them as like rooms. Now, so what are activities then? So what activities are, it's essentially another set or multiple sets of groups of, of, of desktops again, group. Only in this, this time, what you use them for is all of the applications that you open are intended to be used for a specific work task. For instance, I'm a software developer. So I can create, and we will create, let's go through this example together. We'll create an activity used for the sole purpose of developing software. So, let, so let's do that. There's, there's a, a default key shortcut, which is the meta key Q which is the activity switcher. It brings up this sidebar and you can create an activity. By the way, the default activity uh, is what you get out of the box. I usually like to change the name of that to main. So let's do that, main. And then it's the default activity. And you'll notice that meta one is already uh, the key, the, the shortcut defined for meta one. So if you had meta one, if you have more than one, activity, you'll end up back at this main activity. But I haven't really explained what activities are. So let's let's get back to that. So meta key Q brings up the activity switcher. It's called two different things in two different places, in, in various places. It's called the activity switcher, this thing, or the activity manager. It has both names. So let's create a new activity. And we're going to use this activity for development. So let's call this um, software development and so a place to write software okay um, and let's give this meta 2 okay I leave this off I don't click this I don't really know 100% of what that is so I don't really want to talk to it because I'm not sure what where the things the activities are tracked so I don't know so I leave it blank um, okay so I created that uh, activity because I've previously set this up, I've also added, if you, if you click here and say add widgets, I have added the activity pager, and that's what this is right here. So I've already added that. Um, this is the normal pager. It's really for virtual desktops. Let's look at that one. Um, add widgets, um, pager. Okay, right, so that's this pager, and it shows switch between virtual desktops activity pager switch between activities so i this is the activity pager up there this is this quote normal pager there okay so i just want to point that out so right now you could also mouse over and you could say um where this is the main activity 
Okay, so the whole way that I got to learning about this was because I wanted to change background, um, the background image in, in virtual desktops, which you cannot do. So let's switch to the development activity. So I'm going to use Meta Key 2, because remember, I defined Meta Key 2 to, 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 to put us there. Okay, so no, you'll notice there's a different background. I'm going to do Control F8, and we're going to look at this whole workspace. So there are four virtual desktops in this workspace as well. This, quote, workspace is an activity. And what we're going to do here is we're going to open up applications that are only used to do software development. For instance, there's something called... Um, uh, PyCharm. So it's an integrated development environment used to develop Python uh, applications. So let's start that up here. That's a, that's a good thing to start up here. Okay, so this, if, we, if you look up here, we're in desktop one. Remember, we're in an activity, the activity that we're calling development. Here, I'm, I'm going to, we're in the software development activity. I'm going to hit escape. Um, this is just some tips of things uh, bringing up this uh, Python environment. Let's do a similar thing in desktop two. Let's go to the desktop two and let's let's pretend like we want to do some um, Java development. So let's start an integrated develop, development environment for Java and it's called IntelliJ. Okay, so we'll start that. Um, and this is really just for demonstration purposes. I don't plan on getting into the details of how to write Java code or Python code. Um, I'm just showing you what um, what you can use activities for. And I think this is a pretty good example of, of what's, what one might want to use activities for. Because <clears throat> activities, now, let, now let's um, control F8, get sort of this overview of our, of our workspace and our, all of our virtual desktops and what's running in each of our virtual desktops. So here's the Python. Um, here, let's just run this. Okay, so it doesn't really do much. It prints out high PyCharm, right? There it is, high PyCharm. Okay, but so let's say we wanted to uh, do some stuff from at the command line and run this script. So let's, let's go down to uh, the workspace that's right below us, which is three. So I'm going to go down one workspace and I'm going to open up a terminal. Okay. And in this case, I'm going to, I'm going to set up my environment, my, my, my terminal to, um, to do some Python. Okay. So that's a virtual environment. Um, let's go to the place where I, I wrote that, um, that script. And so here, Python main, okay. It gives us the same output that we saw up here. Okay. So it's just the environment's working. And so we, this is just an example. Let's, let's, let's do a similar thing for, for the Java. Okay. So I'm going to go up to, um, up to two. Let's, uh, let's just run this. This is going to print out hello, welcome. And then it's going to just, you see the output there. Okay. So let's do a similar thing. We'll go down one desktop, we'll open up another terminal. Uh, this time maybe we'll put it over here. Um, I'll change the shape of it, doesn't really matter. Um, so let's go to, uh, let's go run that. I, I, I built an artifact for that. I mean, I did this, again, like I said, um, so here, Java jar out artifacts junk. Okay, so then this this should just run the same thing, right? So so it runs essentially the, it's not essentially it's running exactly the same thing. Okay, so, but but you get the general idea. Well, what we're doing here in this in this whole sort of virtual environment is all of the virtual desktops have something or other applications that have to do with software development, and that is the whole concept behind. Um, what activities are meant to be used for. So this happens to be, oh, and I didn't explain how you, you, you could just, you could just change the, the, the wallpaper. Um, let's just use this wallpaper. Um, so now 
Control F8 again. That's one of my favorite. You can see that all of the virtual desktops in this activity are using this wallpaper. I'm going to use Meta Key 1. It's going to put us back to that first activity and you're going to get sort of that sampled. So now this is that first activity. And these are those the first ones, the, 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 the place where we started talking about this. So these now, you would probably put applications like maybe, maybe you'd open up Chrome, for instance. Uh, maybe you would you you would open up uh, uh, you know you have an activity for doing um, image processing. Maybe you open up GIMP or you open up um, uh, I don't know. Uh, but the whole idea is that the activities are to sort of organize a collection of applications that are used for a specific task. Um, you know, in this example our development, our software development um, activity was used to, we opened up a bunch of applications that we are using to develop software. Um, in, the, in the main one, um, that's not the case, right? We're, we're, we're doing things, general, uh, uh, general disk maintenance or whatever we're doing we're surfing the web or maybe we're listening to music maybe we're editing e uh, uh, videos or maybe we're editing photos whatever um whatever the case may be so that's basically it in a nutshell so you can you can change um the look of the backgrounds um per virtual desktop so let's just minimize that there's there's a background for the software development and the way I did that it's just you know kind of normal stuff uh, let's go back let's use this one this, okay so just again so now I'm gonna go to one we see it's a, well that's actually very similar <laughs> but let, let, let's use something that's that's not similar it's completely different here this is completely different so um, it's pretty obvious that that is different than this background there let's minimize that so you can see these are the two, right? So, um, and again, that's an overview, control F8. Um, and then we'll go to software development and control F8. Um, and that's it. That's all I really had to say. Uh, hopefully that was enlightening to, to some or taught you something or eliminated some confusion. I hope I didn't uh, confuse you further. <laughs> Thanks for listening.